it seemed really interesting and I wanted to do it, but I felt like I was going to be too busy, basically, because I had a lot of stuff going on at the time. And I was thinking about it. I was like, all right, a couple hours a day, like, I can commit to that. I found it really fascinating and interesting how, how this kind of stuff was being quantified in, in this sort of scientific way. I'm used to all these different types of disciplines that are kind of have that sort of like spiritual, not, not, not such like a tangible kind of approach. It was interesting how the, these type of concepts Concepts of sort of looking at yourself and finding out more about who you are were being presented in, in a way that was accessible, not like some kind of mystical thing. Everything was demystified, which was kind of off-putting in a way, but also intriguing. There was some kind of resistance where I felt like there was something that was uh, not legitimate about it, you know, sort of like a, a shortcut. You never hear people really talk about awakening or, or people talk about it in this very mystical way, uh, sort of esoteric kind of way and get this sense that like, oh, well, if you're really enlightened, you're not supposed to talk about it. At least that's the that's the kind of conditioning that I had but as we went on through the course, you know, I, I sort of was able to let go of that and get into more of just practicing, not having to really think about or understand it philosophically or intellectually, which was also something that had become part of my conditioning with different kind of spiritual practices, trying to wrap my head around what was going on and not really having the experiential aspect of it. So as I was able to just let go and practice more, you know, I started realizing, yeah, there was some kind of increasing well-being going on. I think when I started out... I've been doing some different kinds of practices going on and off for a number of years and kind of been thinking about this sort of stuff, but I still felt like I had a lot of emotional ups and downs and I, I could spend, I can have like a few day period where I feel pretty off and low and just kind of down and uninspired. And I also was feeling a lot of uh, loneliness, you know, since, uh, since my divorce, you know, and I've always been the kind of guy that's sort of looked to the outside connecting people and trying to find that real deep connection. So I was looking for that maybe in some kind of romantic relationship. You know, nothing was really satisfying in, in that way. And so as I'm getting into the course, I was able to get more even keeled and more of a sense of witness perspective of watching, you know, seeing these feelings kind of come up and play out in the same sort of patterns that I had been watching for years and years, but now feeling a little bit more distance from it and a little bit less of that kind of stickiness of the story and the emotions and whatever's coming up, I started to get this sense of like, okay, there's something very simple going on here. <laughs> and it's just this presence feeling this base level of being existence and knowing that it is along with that. And I started to be able to identify that more and more. And as I got deeper into it, I started to feel more of these feelings of love and, and joy coming up and the shedding of this film that was <laughs> kind of around everything for a long time. And the things that used to really get to me a lot and, and maybe throw me off for like three or four days were just kind of like, I'd just be seeing it as it was as it was happening. And there remains this background perspective of you know, see, seeing everything from this one single eye. <laughs> I, I would say it's something that, that's deceptively simple. Just the feeling of being kind of present, having your attention here you know, in this core level of yourself before there's thoughts and before there's interpretation and, you know, all the conditioning comes in and the judgment and whatever else is going on. There's, like, just something that you can turn to to just confirm. It's, it's really the only, the only thing that you can really be sure of, just the simple fact of your own existence. We get pulled into all these different things, and but there's uh, it's, it's a broader perspective, a sort of wider frame where you're able to get in touch more with some kind of fundamental aspect of yourself. What would you say the benefit of that is? Like, why would somebody want that? You know, they're, they're, we're, so, we're so used to being pulled into everything that's going on in, in our lives. There's a lot of suffering that goes along with that. You know, you might not think of yourself as an unhappy person. Like, I, I don't think I ever thought of myself as being unhappy. But as I started, you know, doing some of the questionnaires in the beginning, reflecting on, like, well, 
how often, how much of the time am I actually happy and how much am I not, it started to occur to me that, like, maybe I'm not as happy as I thought I was. You know, I'd say that the benefits of kind of understanding your true nature is that you know, with this wider perspective comes the ability to allow this natural peacefulness and love to come through in your actions. And there's sort of a, a new baseline state where it's uncolored by all this kind of noise that's going on. So it, al- it allows for a certain amount of freedom to be able to um, not be so pulled in by all the worries and the concerns and the, the stuff that's just natural part of life. It's gonna, all that stuff is going gonna, is gonna to keep coming up. But, you know, how you're able to, to handle that and sort of it increases your overall well-being and I think allows you to interact with the world in a way that is more more in the flow, more just at, just as you see nature, you know, you can take a walk somewhere and, and, and see that all this stuff is happening in harmony. When you're in touch with this deeper aspect of yourself, you're flowing with that whole system. There's less resistance going on there's more that ends up coming to you in a natural way i think even like when you you know when you say like oh it's a simple thing it's like there's already that whole like thing is like okay now i need to find the simple thing it's like (laughs) i need to to not look so hard but still it's like there's still this it's so difficult to get at through you know having studied this stuff for years I, i i almost feel like it's much easier for people that come in with it with no preconceptions there's times when i am interacting with the kids where it'll just require that kind of complete presence and I, I can get into a certain kind of flow with that where it's if I'm just down there playing with them and I and it's like more of like that sort of childlike perspective where there's this openness and this freedom to it. It's definitely a little bit easier to keep my cool now. I'm just kind of go with the flow of things. One of the big things that's changed for me has been this feeling of loneliness. There's definitely more of a contentment with just myself being okay with just being with myself. That's something that has been pretty cool. (laughs) For a long time, I've kind of watched this loop happen. These cycles of kind of feeling low and then feeling connected and back and forth and feeling like I'll be making some kind of progress and then, you know, retracting. And now I feel like this pattern is more exposed. It has this natural momentum that's playing out, but uh, it's kind of like I'm stepped off the ride. You know, just sometimes still on the ride. I feel like there's times when I feel very whole and complete. The the noting practice was, was really great for me. That's when I really started to feel like some of the stuff deepening. That was when I started to really feel like this peace and joy is just kind of there underneath the surface and like that stuff is just naturally kind of there. I, I don't feel like that the, there's a constant sense of completeness or or peace, but I feel like I know it's it's there, and so that makes it less disturbing or it just it doesn't seem like a huge deal if I'm feeling disconnected or incomplete or something like that. It feels like there's this deeper understanding of of what's really there even if it's not all the time present or up in the in the foreground there's just this kind of knowledge that this is the undercurrent that's happening it feels like i guess there's a kind of a sliding scale it doesn't so much feel like it's like switched on or switched off it's just it feels like there's just kind of these little cycles i don't know if i'd necessarily say disconnected but when there's definitely a a recognition when I'm feeling like joy or peace. When when that's not there at the foreground, it's it's more of like kind of that even keel sort of place that I was describing before. It's kind of unaffected. There's a certain peace in that too. You know, it feels good to feel joy <laughs> kind of bubbling up and someone calls me from, you know, a law firm and I and I, I'm like, there's a natural shift that's gonna happen when I go to get on that call that's you know, I'm not gonna be sort of out in La La Land or anything. One of the things about this course that was was most effective was just really demystifying that and recognizing this very subtle thing and then understanding how, how to, to deepen into that. But yeah, half of the battle is just, or more than half, is, is really breaking this, this idea of, you know, that some big thing is going to happen to you. Going through the course and having my friend as another participant was great also. If people can, can come into it with, 
with someone else. I mean, it's one it's one thing getting the experience of the people in your group, and that's very valuable. But then, like having that extra level of being able to talk to someone and feedback and talk about what's going on, and and just it, it makes it so much more beneficial to kind of get into this stuff. You know, the fact that there's you know you have all this research and and that you know you've distilled it down to the most effective techniques at sort of producing this shift. It's it's pretty cool to be able to just uh, have that resource coming through this course. I've enjoyed being able to combine different techniques and do sort of experiment with it and seeing what seems to resonate with me. I think that's definitely been successful, you know, going forward. I have these different tools that I can use in different ways. That's great.